Good evening. <clears throat> Good evening, Marco. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Domingo, Alexander González. Good evening, teacher. Hello, baby. What's your son's name, Marco? Uh, his, his name is Marco. Ah, like you. Yes, I remember. You yeah. told me the other day. Hello, Marquito. Yeah. Hello, Desilio. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Desilio. How are you? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo Hi, Siri. I'm fine. Ah, bueno. Hey. What's your name? What's your name? María José. María José. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yes, my... Mucho gusto. Nice to meet you too. Okay. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> nice gusto, to sí. meet you too. <laughs> Mire que es your father, su papá, le va a enseñar inglés. Ya les está enseñando inglés. Sí, sí, preguntan, preguntan bastante. Ya, y eso está bien. Así es que yo creo que les va a gustar bastante. Sí, el papá es bueno para el inglés, los niños también. <laughs> Okay, guys, um, um, well, it's time to start the class. Thank you for being here, for being connected on time. Hello, Domingo. Hello, William. Good evening, Alba. Hello, Jose Matias. Hello, Cristina. Hello, Hello, teacher. How was your day? How was your day at work today? Fine. It was fine? Okay. Yes. Busy, maybe? <laughs> okay, guys. So I'm going to start taking the attendance. So please remember to say present or here, okay? As soon as you can. We're going to start with our number one on the list, which is Miss Alba Dinora Vides. Present. Alfredo Alexander Rodas. Carla Maritza Sánchez. Present. Carlos Walberto Rodríguez. Present. Cristina Rosana Romero. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Domingo González. Present teacher. Okay, what about Fátima Portillo? Alfredo Rodas. Dice present en el chat. <laughs> Uh, Jose Matías Lemos Ramírez. Present teacher. Karina Yamilera Espinosa Ventura. Marco David Velázquez Vázquez. Present teacher. Marlon Cardona Valencia. Mauricio Alexander Majano. Maidele, Judith Díaz, present chair, Nancy Rodríguez, Rocío Maritza Martínez, present chair, Salvador Edgardo Escobar Vázquez, Hey, what about Sandra Yamilet Velázquez? Present. And Victor Salazar Calzadilla. Present. Walter Daniel González. Present. 
Walter Daniel no está. Ok. Thank you so much, guys, for saying present. Okay, so can somebody tell me what's today's topic? Well, today we have um, uh, it's, it's a video, it's our video conference number 10. That means that we are going to finish the unit two today. So we're gonna have a unit review. And also you are going to learn vocabulary. So let me share with you the attendance. Okay, the, the, the presentation, I'm sorry. It's because I'm, I'm reading here in the chat that William Eduardo Perez said, present teacher. So just let me. Uh, who is this person? William, William, okay, William. William is present. Give me a second, guys. William Eduardo Perez. Okay, so here you can see my screen. Let me know if you can see it. Okay, can you see my screen, guys? Yes, yes. Okay, that's good. So, um, just let me fix this. Okay. So the topic is review and practice. The class objective, the class will be able to assess their comprehension and application of vocabulary used during the unit team. And we have the warm up, word snake. In the activity one, we have the grammar review about the simple past. Then in the activity two, we have professionals speaking. Activity three, company vocabulary. Activity four, business course. And activity five, wrap up. So let's start with a warm up. My favorite part of the class, the word is the warm up, okay? The word is snake. Have you ever played this game before? Ya han hecho este juego antes? Before? No, this is. Yes? Yes. Or no? No. No. Okay. Um, the dynamic is this. I'm going to say a word. For example, the word here is parrot. Okay, so the next word, it starts with the last letter of parrot. What's the last letter? T. T, exactly. Mm. Mm. So the next the next word starts with T. Time. Time ends with e. 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 So the next word starts with Romy. E. English. It's English ends with H. So the next word starts with H. Honest. Then the next one with e. T, table. Then with E, excellent. Then two with O, open. And so on. Yeah? You got it? Sí, okay. verdad que está facilito. <laughs> Bye, entonces eso es lo que vamos a hacer. Lo vamos a hacer así. Eh, Así, toda la clase, as a whole class. Uy. Entonces. Vamos a empezar with one letter. And that's going to be with one word. 
I'm sorry. The war is going to be sandwich. It's because I'm hungry. <laughs> the war is sandwich. So sandwich ends with the letter H. H. Can you tell me a word that starts with H? House. House. Okay. House. Yes. With E? Elephant. Elephant. Okay, elephant. Mm -hmm. With tea. Tomatoes. I'm sorry. Tai. Teacher. Okay. With R. Ruler. Ruler. Rose. Rose. Okay. With E. Yep, it. it. Enjoy. Okay. It. <laughs> the country with T. Uh -huh. Tomato. 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 With O. Orange. 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 Uh -huh. With E. Elegant. Elegant, yes. Okay. With T? Train. Train. With N. Nose. 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 New. Nose, okay. Nose. The E again. <laughs> Employee. Employee, okay. Another E. <laughs> what did I say? Engine. Eraser, okay. Eraser, now with the R. Room. Room, okay. With M. Multiple. Mother. Mother. Okay. Or mother. Mother. Or modern. Let's use modern. Okay. Now with the N. With the N, letter N. I. No. I'm sorry? Nine. Nine. The number. Nine. Oh, night. Night. Equal. Okay, night. Turkey. Turkey. Okay, with a Y. Yellow. 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 Yes. Yellow. Yellow. Uh, yellow. With the window. 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 War. Word. White word. White word. With D? Word. Day. Day. The wine? Yesterday. Oh, yesterday. Yesterday. The wine again. Order, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yesterday, uh, all our problems seem so far away. Uh huh. With the way. What about you? Year, Yankee. Year. Year. <laughs> <laughs> no. With the you. No. You. Yankees. You. 
Unit. 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 Okay. Look at the thing. Three. Three. Two. Two. Three. Two. Three. 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 Este... ¿En? Nurse. Not book. Ok. Not book. Nurse. With E. Engineer. Engineer. Ok. Engineer. Or. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. <laughs> Refrigerator. Ok. Another R. <risa> es una espada de doble filo de Rain. 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 Okay, now with M. Rain. New. Neighbor. No, November. Neighbor. W. White. White. E. Ears. Okay, ears. ears. Now with the S. Ears. The sky. Sleeping. Sky. Sky. Okay, <laughs> why? <laughs> Somebody said year. Yesterday. <laughs> ya lo dijeron yesterday. Oh. Mm. With the R. Ro. 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 Okay. Uh, we already have ruler, rose, room, red. Rose. Oh, the color, red. Okay. With D. December. Day, day, day. Diamond. December. December. R again. Or... Ruler. Ruler. Yo dije. Remember. Remember. Otra R. Another R. Another R. Road. Road. That's raspberry. Raspberry. Okay. Road. Road. D. Do. Sky. Do. Eight. Dry. Dry, okay. With uh, Y. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Es que es de pensar bien lo John. que va a decir. No, no, John. 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 Okay, John. John. With the G. Plus. Game. Plus. Plus. Okay. Now with S. Street. 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 Okay, with T. Technology. Okay, technology. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, guys, no, we're going to finish babe. here. <laughs> Did the problem. But, but it was very nice. Did you like the activity? <laughs> Oh, Hoy sí, me quitó el sueño. Ah, vaya, le quitó el sueño, pensar. Ya, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the purpose of the warm-up. Um, okay, guys, now um, here I'm going to uh, continue sharing the, the screen, but this time, the next activity, you also need to, uh, you, you need a lot of concentration because you have to look for the works. Look 
And what? You need to look for some words. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, what's this one? Okay. It's talking about your company. We you need to look for the words industry, headquarters, staff, small talk, networking, manufacture, branch, guests personal and expertise. Uh -huh. Así que si sí, no sé si pueden tener ahí la, la opción de de anotar, personal. no sé si les uh -huh. sale. Le sale. Pues, pues. Eso es, eso es para ver si están despiertos. No están durmiendo. Vaya, vale, no sé si les sale la opción a ustedes de anotar. Sí. Sí. Un lapicito. Entonces ahí yes. pueden ustedes seleccionar. No, ¿No le sale? Ya no lo oigo. No vemos todavía su pantalla. No, no se ve la pantalla. ¿Y ahora? Comenzamos ya. <risa> sí. Yes, of course. Oh, very good. Personal. Manufacture. Yeah, ok, so ya tenemos. We have. We have personal manufacture. The quarter. The quarter. Branch. Right. Okay. The quarters. No, me sale el opción. Oh, what is that word? No sé, como digo, no sé cuáles son sus pensamientos. Si tienen pues, está aquí en la última línea de derecha a izquierda. Calle uno. Y ese que han puesto esta roja, no sé qué significa. Networking. Oh, yes. Thank you. Networking. Thank you. <laughs> Industry. Um, what is this one? Guests. Staff. Exactly. Guests. Uy. ¿Qué me pasó? Guests. No. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's my mistake. Okay. Uh, Industry. Oh, expertise. Ay, perdonen, se me puse la que no era. Expertise, guests, Yo staff. Ah, like uh, you're missing a small talk. Small talk. No. Oh, that no, you did. Excellent. Very good. In a record time. Ah, no lo sorry, quite. I have to raise. <laughs> okay, very good. So, oops. Now, guys, in the next activity, you have to tell me what the image or the picture represents from the previous vocabulary. Can you please repeat after me? Industry. Industry. Staff. Industry. Staff. Networking. Staff. Networking. Branch. Branch. Guests. Yes. Headquarters. Headquarters. Small talk. Small talk. Manufacture. Manufacture. Personal. Personal. Expertise. Expertise. Yes. So, um, 
now I will show you some pictures and you have to tell me which of these words the image represents, okay? What about this picture? What does the picture represent? Industry. Industry, okay. And this one? Man of Putin. Networking. No. Expertise. Expertise, yes. Your experience, your expertise. It refers to your knowledge, abilities, ideas that you have to share with others. What about this one? No, no, Ian, you want to see. Headquarters. Headquarters. Uh, Networking. Yeah, but networking, networking, branch, branch, okay. branch, the branch, <laughs> and this one, personal, 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 networking. Yes, manufacturer, manufacturer. Industry no. stuff. Headquarters. The headquarters. headquarters. And this one? <laughs> branch. No, the stuff. The staff. The staff. Small talk. Yeah, that's it. The staff. Okay, very good. That was it. Very easy. Dishes. Now you have to choose five words from the word yeah. search and write a sentence per word. Dígame. No salió ni guest ni small talk. No lo vi. No salió qué? Eh, guest, small talk. Small talk. No, ah, no, no, no puse, no, no puse esas imágenes. Ok. Network. so, mm -hmm. Networking. En networking, ¿qué, ¿qué tienen ustedes por networking? Son como algo redes. de internet, trabajo de internet, tal vez. Mm, vaya, network se refiere a redes. Oh. Ajá. Social son, networks son son redes sociales. De, de computación. Entonces, networking se refiere, es un término para referirse de cómo usted en su, en su trabajo profesión, ocupación, hace una red de contactos profesionales. Mm. Uh -huh. Se refiere a eso, expandir la red de contactos profesionales. Okay. Eso es networking. Y por eso lo yes. vimos en la unidad Unit 2, Socialize, Socializing. And we have a uh, learning about how to start a small talk, como how to break the ice in conversations with people you don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Para que usted pueda expandirse. Y eso es muy bueno, ¿verdad? Cuando, por ejemplo, in my case, that I'm a teacher, having a, a lot of contacts, professional people that are in, the, in that area, education, it's very good because in that way I have, I mean, thanks to that, thanks to my net, my networking, <laughs> I am working here at Inglés Corporativo. Thanks to the networking, my networking, I have my contacts. So it's very important to have contacts, okay. to have more, um, uh, uh, let me see work opportunities if you want to change uh -huh. your job right so mm. you can have more work opportunities you can have um, if you have a business you can have also uh, more business contacts maybe with the suppliers providers or for sales Mm -hmm. Okay, what are you going to do now? You are going to choose five words de las que vimos anteriormente ahorita y van a escribir una oración por cada una de esas 
palabras. Por ejemplo, for example, industry, staff, personal, guests, um, what's the other? Networking, headquarters. Try to use new vocabulary for you, okay? Y me gustaría que me las compartieran por el chat. Las, las, las oraciones, por favor. Van a escribir cinco oraciones de cinco palabras. Si pueden usar the simple past, that will be much better. Si pueden usar el, el simple past. Le voy a escribir un ejemplo using industry. Pueden compartir. The cleaning staff is celebrating this day. Okay, I have a meeting with the personnel of my company today. Uh -huh, okay, so meeting. This is the spelling of meeting. I have a meeting with the personnel of my company. Of my company. I was supervising the manufacturing of this product. Of this product. Okay. Of, of this product, okay? Our networking is very important for the client. Okay. Quiero ver más oraciones, more sentences. The staff is very busy, very busy. Okay, Salvador, thank you. Okay, more sentences. The headquarters is located in San Salvador. Okay, nice. The staff received the new manager very well yesterday. Great example. The network that you acquire here is the best you can. Pero acuérdense que networking se refiere a la acción de expandir sus contactos. The headquarters office of Walmart is located at USA Exit. 
Qatar will be the world headquarters of to, the World Cup headquarters of 2022. Okay. In my, my company, company manufactured the Bible for a moment. Okay. In my my com sería así, mire, Matías, my company manufactured the printing of Bibles around the world. The star always made a okay? My company manufacture the production or, or the print, the printing, the printing of Bibles around the world. The world. Our industry of oh, fruits is the number one in the radio. I got the expert type. I, I, I got my, the expert in my old job. In my previous job, Seria Alfredo. In my previous job. Okay. For the strength, the strength, the industry at the national level further. We offer you manufacturing of the best quality. The quality level is a very important KPI for the company. I want to say Marlon. Key performance indicator. Oh, KPI, key performance indicator. I am working in the industry area. The staff of the company where I work is very friendly. Okay. What about the other words, for example, branch? Uh, what about guests, small talk? Use those words. The staff of the office, of the office department, they celebrated, they are celebrating a year in the scene. My sister is part of the staff. The best staff works in my company. <laughs> Vaya, Matias. Ahí quizás sería the office. The office department staff are celebrating a new year. Pero por qué dice un nuevo año en el los en el mar? Sí, no. no quería poner bote, boat. Okay. I'm, I'm going to read for you a definition for networking. The action of or process of interacting with others to exchange information and develop professional or social contacts. Mm -hmm. It's to exchange information to, and develop professional or social contacts. Interacting with others. Okay, very good. Oh, guests at my wedding must bring gifts. <laughs> okay, we if you invite us for your wedding, 
We are going to bring some presents to you. Yesterday, I expanded my networking during the summit. Excellent, Alfredo. The industry in which I work is mechanical material. Okay. Thank you guys for sharing in the chat. Okay, now exercise number three. Write five information questions in the simple present. Use the verbs from the box. What are the verbs? Oversee, manufacture, supervise, be in charge of, and network. So you have to write five information questions. Information questions starts with what, where, why, how, where, etc. Igual pueden escribir, you can type your question in the chat and I can check it if it's correct or not. Okay, let's see. Questions, guys, questions. Who is the supervisor of this of the design department? Pero, vaya, aquí si se fijan, estos no, aquí se tienen que usar el, lo como verbo, como verbo. Vaya, por ejemplo, ahí alguien puso supervisor. Entonces, ahí sería... Who supervises the design department? Sí, sería. Who supervises the design department? ¿Quién supervisa el departamento de diseño? Okay, more questions? Okay, who supervises the production department? Who manufactures that shirt? Okay. How, ah, I said in the meeting, how do the comp, how does the company 
how does the company how does the company manufacture clothes the clothes mm -hmm. usamos el auxiliar das <laughs> Who manufactured the pump? Manufactures. Remember, you can use the question words where. Uh -huh. Ahí, Matías, sería where are the newspapers? Where are the newspapers manufactured? Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. In which department the shoes are the shoes manufactured? Recordense que, remember that you use the, the verb in a question or the auxiliary verb before the subject. Are we in charge of repeating? Repeating. Después de la preposition of, vamos a usar ing. Are we in charge of repairing the machines? Another could be, for example, what department do you oversee? The department supervisa. The accounting oversees all areas each month. Okay, but remember question, questions. It, what about being charged off? What are the, the person in manufacturing? Where is the personnel, the manufacturing personnel? Where is in charge? Okay, ahí sería Alfredo, who is in charge of that, of the work? Who, supervise, who supervises the manufacturing staff? Who is working in the working? Vaya, Walter. Cuando usamos el who en preguntas, como estamos preguntando de una tercera persona, porque no sabemos el sujeto, entonces el verbo va a ir en third person. Who supervises? No hay, no sabemos quién... Estamos preguntando por una tercera persona, entonces usamos el verbo en tercera persona. Who supervises? What that machine has already been? It has, sería, mire, Matías. Has that machine already been supervised? Porque si lo dice así como está, es como una oración. Pero si lo hace el verbo antes, es una pregunta. Has the machine, has that machine already been supervised? Okay. Mm -hmm. 
ok, ok. ¿Y dónde están hoy las mujeres? No se no duerman. Ok, very good. Can I already move to the next slide? Pasamos a la siguiente. No, teacher. No. <laughs> no yet. Yes. Did you finish the five questions? Okay, who likes to be in charge of supervising? Who is in charge of paying the personal staff? Human resources. Who can be in charge of my machine? Why is he in charge of the machine? Why is he in charge? Okay, guys, thank you so much for participating. Now, in this exercise, you have to order the words to create positive, negative, and interrogative statements in past. Tienen que ordenarlas. Por ejemplo, number one, está enjoy, did you training the. ¿Cómo empezamos la, hora, la pregunta? Sí. Did. Mm. De did, ¿qué va? ¿Cómo es riquísimo que te vas a comer? Did you? Uh, did you? Subject. Did, you, did, did, you, did, you, did you enjoy the training? The training. Uh -huh. Yo me llené el rey de la gordita. Me sobras, me voy a comer, pero no lo hago. Gracias. Ok, so please, ver, let's... No. <laughs> Let's Espérame, ya te hablo. Oops. Ahí no sé quién fue. Aquí. Ok, guys. Vamos a hacer este ejercicio, por favor. De ordenar las preguntas. Las pueden mandar por el chat si quieren o me dicen y aquí las escribimos. Number one. Mm, se me fue. Did you enjoy enjoy the train? Enjoy. Okay, so the first one is the manager if did you not enjoy the training. Okay, number two. The manager did not the manager. attend their the seminar. Okay. The manager didn't attend the seminar. Imagínense. <laughs> okay, number three. The personal maintenance update their certification. Day, the certification. Okay, the maintenance personal. The maintenance personal updated their certifications. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Four. Did the supervisor exchange business card? Excellent. Did the supervisor exchange business cards? And the last one? The network didn't work made at convention. Veamos. At my convention. Network is the verb. Okay. Didn't at the network convention my workmate. Vaya, acuérdense que primero empezamos con el sujeto, cuando son oraciones. My. Ah. My. Uh -huh. my, my work, Miss. Didn't. Didn't. Didn't qué? At the network. My workmates didn't network, network at the convention. At the convention. Mm -hmm. Estamos. Yay! We finished. Okay, guys. For the next part, Okay, for the next activity, lo que vamos a hacer es esto. I'm going to assign you in groups, and in your group, you take turns reading one paragraph each, groups of three. You take turns to read. Lo voy a leer yo primero para que vean cómo se pronuncia. Luego ustedes van a practicar, you're going to practice reading aloud pronunciation in your group, and then you're going to answer some questions, ¿ok? Bye. Les voy a leer acá. Pero esta cosa no me deja ver. <laughs> Last week I had lunch with Alison, a new member of my network contacts. We saw each other at three seminars over the past year, but we really did not know each other very well. I set a goal, I set a goal last year. I will have a one-on-one -on -one networking meeting with at least five new contacts this year. My fifth contact meeting was Allison. Our meeting was so rewarding that I want to share the experience. During lunch, Alison mentioned that she was shy by nature. In the past, she said she worried a lot before going to large networking events. I felt surprised because she trusted me that feeling. I got to know more about her, the industry she works in, and about her expectations for the future. I gained more than a new contact. I passed from small talk to smart talk. Here is my advice to you. When you attend business events, do not just go and discuss business problems and solutions. Try to get to know at least three new people by sharing a one-on-one -on -one working coffee, lunch, or dinner. There are several benefits of this practice. You expand your contacts, improve your networking skills, and you build meaningful connections with people in the industry. Ahora le voy a leer la otra parte. Okay. When networking with people at meetings, conferences, association meetings, or conventions, learn to ask interesting information questions to get the conversation going. Change the standard, change the standard. What do you do for a living for a more creative question? to enrich the human exchange. Like, what, inspire, what inspires you in your job? What are your daily challenges? Okay, ya le tomaron un screenshot. Yes. And now please take another screenshot of the next questions. Porque las van a responder en el grupo. 
Alison and Mrs. Tang saw each other for the first time last week. Mrs. Tang said I'm not working all for this year. Alison confessed she hated networking events. Mrs. Tate and Alison passed from small talk to smart talk during the lunch. Mrs. Tate mentioned three benefits of one on one networking meetings. So es que vamos a contestar true or false, true or false. Let's read, let's read the text um, before, okay? Ya me está dando sueño, niños, así es que participemos. Let's participate. Ya veo algunos también cabeceando. Ya se durmieron con el I'm sorry. Oh, yes, it's time. But antes de crear las alas, voy a pasar la lista. Thank you so much. Que se despierten, ¿verdad? Alba Dinora. Present. Alfredo Alexander. Present. Carla Maritza. Present. Carlos Gualberto. Present. Cristina Roxana. Present. Domingo Alexander. Present. Fátima del Carmen. Por ti, ah, está de oyente, dice. Eh, José Matías Lemus Ramírez. Here. Karina Yamile de Espinosa. Marco David Velázquez. Marco David. Present. Y Karina no dijo present, ¿verdad? Ok, ahí la veo que está conectada. Marlon Cardona. Present. Mauricio Majano. Present. Maideli Judith Díaz. Present. Nancy Lice Rodríguez. Present. Nancy. Hoy no, hoy no está en la clase Nancy. No, ¿verdad? No aparece. ¿Nancy? No, no está. Teacher, ahí alguien quiere otra vez la, para tomar café. Ya lo voy a poner. Rocío, Katia. Present teacher. Salvador Escobar. Present teacher. Sandra Velázquez. Present. Víctor. Víctor Salazar. Walter González. Present. William Eduardo Pérez. Present. Ok, excellent. Now I'm going to share the screen so that you can take the, the screenshot or picture. Ya finished? Ya le tomaron el screenshot a las dos? Yes. And now? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Entonces voy a amenazar the, the groups. Ok. Wow, guys, oh, this is an, a historical day. Everybody's in the class today.
Please as an invitation to go to the break room. You want to be the first? Yes. Okay. If you want, Domingo, I want to be the second and you the third one. It's all right. What you want? Okay. Uh, Jose Matias, the first. I'm the second one and you the third one. If you want, Jose Matias, you can start. Uh, Addison and Miss take so each other for the first time last week. Is that true? But I think that we have to read the, the paragraph. Okay. Yes, that's right. You have to read the text first, okay? Yes. Yes. Um, solo la parte donde dice la número uno que yo digo que es cierto. Por no. todo el... Es que, vaya, de, de la imagen Párrafo. que le tomamos foto, estaban los tres, para, los tres párrafos. Ajá. Y cada uno de nosotros va a leer un párrafo. Y cuando terminemos de leerlo, vamos a contestar las, las oraciones. Ok. Son verdaderas o falsas. Ok. Ah, voy. Usi chihuahua in about here is better more they a new contact I pass from a small town to a small town. Talk. Al final se va a decir talk. Smart or. Talk. Smart or. Smart talk. talk. Sin pronunciar la L, es silent. Talk. Smart, talk. smart uh, talk. 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 All right, uh, Salvador, continue the, the last. Okay, here is my advice to you. Do not just go on. Okay, I will read the second starting lunch, Alice. So much she was trying by natural. In the past, she said she worried a lot, a lot because before going to large networking events, I felt surprised because. The in the She worked in, talk to a fully read the system. 
Plus B. Problem solution. New people by sharing a one on, on one networking coffee, lunch of dinner, or dinner. There are several benefits of the practice and you expand your contacts, improve your networking skill in your build, build meaningful connection with people in the industry. Okay. To with the, the sentences, then we have to identify if there are true or false statement about the about the article that we are ready for the reading. Okay. Alison in this case saw each other for the first time last week. Okay, we have to identify if true or false based on the on the reading. To be honest, I don't remember that part. I have to read again the yeah, number two, this is uh, say mistake set a new working goal for the year. That's true. And what do you think, guys? Is it true or is, or false? It's false. Just obvious. Yes, it's false. Okay. What about number two? Miss State set a working goal for this year. También es false. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh. No, it's true. So she said, and is working on oh, for you. this year. Mm -hmm. Alison confessed she hated networking events. That is, that is false. Miss Esther and Allison pass from small talk to smart talk during lunch? True. True. Miss Esther mentioned three benefits on one on one networking meetings. Three benefits. Five. Veamos. There are several benefits of this practice in the last paragraph. You expand your contacts, improve your networking skills, and you build meaningful connections with people in the industry. Three benefits. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think it's time to go back to the main, the main class. Okay. All right. All right. All right. ¿Qué pasa, Salvador? Are you tired? I'm sorry. Broken down and tired. You are a little bit tired. 
Quebrado y cansado. Teacher, I'm very tired because I traveled to Soyapango. Uh, I go, I going to do my exam for my carnet. ¿Cómo se dice? ID. For my ID of electrician. Oh, where? Yeah. Very tired. I, I, I take the bus at five o'clock a.m. and come back at one p.m. <gasps> wow. Yes, those uh, far away journeys or travels are very tiring because you live in Santa Ana and you have to go to Zayapango. That's, you know, a big, big, big um, travel. <laughs> yeah, it's I a take, very long one. I take, I take uh, Ford. I took bus. four I buses. Took four buses, yeah. Wow. Yes, that's, that's pretty tiny. But did you work today or you didn't work today? I didn't. Okay, but, at least. But, but so the I, afternoon, I, I reviewed it. Uh, I repairing the car of my co-worker. And last, I worked. I installed the um, circuit. Circuit, oh, a circuit, an electric circuit. Oh my goodness. Yes, we are all very busy. Okay, guys, um, let's do something. In this text, um, you can find many. Well, let's check them. Let's check the statements first. Vamos a ver. I'm going to ask, oh, lo, lo, I'm gonna ask some people to read the paragraphs, okay? Who would like to read the first paragraph? Kasha Maritza? The second paragraph, okay. the second paragraph is going to be read by Sandra. And the last paragraph, Victor. Please. Hello, Camila. And I start teaching. I Last week I had lunch with Allison, a new member of my network contact. Yeah. We saw each other at great seminars over the past year, but we really didn't know each other very well. I set a goal last year. I wouldn't have I will have a one-on-one -on -one networking meeting with at least five new contacts this year. My fifth contact meeting was Allison. Our meeting was so rewarding that I want to share the experience. Second paragraph. Thank you so much. Excellent reading. Sandra, please, okay. can you read the second paragraph? Okay. During lunch, Alison mentioned that she was, she by nature in the past, she said she worried a lot before going to large networking events. I feel surprised because she trusted me that feeling I got to know more about here, the industrial she worked in and about her expectation for the future. I again more than a new contact. I passed from small talk to smart talk. Thank you, Sandra. And Victor, please, the last paragraph. Okay. 
Lo, lo voy a leer de acá porque tengo un problema con mi conexión. ¿Qué? No problem. Here is my advice to you. When you attend business event, do not just go and discuss business problem and solution. Try to get to know at least 20 people by sharing one on one, need but coffee, lunch or dining. Dinner. There are several dinner. There are several benefits of this practice. You expand your contacts, improve your networking skill, and you will make full connection with people in the industry. Thank you. Very, very nice, guys. Thank you for reading the paragraphs. Okay, what about the next statement? Tell me if it's true or false. If it's true, levantan su manita virtual. Eh, de, eh, el like. Si es, if it's true. But if it's false, la otra manita, vea. No sé si pueden poner el de, el de los, las reacciones. Hay uno de las reacciones que es la manita para abajo. Uh -huh. Ay, muy bien, Alba. Very good, nice. Okay, that one. Let's start. Alison and Mrs. State saw each other for the first time last week. True or false? It's false, exactly. Ya sabía, they have seen each other uh, like three times the past week. Okay, what about number two? Miss State set a networking goal for this year. True or false? True or false? Number two. It's true. It's true. She said I'm working goal for this year. Okay, number three. Allison confessed she hated networking events. True or false? True or false? It's true. No, it's not true. It's false. <laughs> Veamos como dice ella. Dice, we saw each other at three seminars over the past year. Okay, during lunch. Alice mentioned that she was shy by nature. In the past, she said she worried a lot before going to large networking events. I felt, she felt worried. Pero no dice que lo odiara. Mrs. Stair and Allison passed from a small talk to a smart talk during lunch. True or false? True or false? It's true. And the last one, Mrs. State mentioned three benefits on one-on-one -on -one working event meetings. True or false? True, yes. What are the three benefits? What are the three benefits of one-on-one -on -one networking meetings? Veamos, Alma, ¿cuáles son esos three benefits? What are the three benefits? They are at the end of the last paragraph. Alba tiene los beneficios. ¿Quién le da los beneficios? 
three benefits from 101 networking meetings. Um, you explain your context, improve your networking skill, and you build meaningful connection with, with people in the industry. Yes, Carla, that's the right answer. Okay, very good. Vaya, chicos, lo voy a poder hacer esta actividad. Eh, van a hacer un cuadrito en su cuaderno, van a dividir regular verbs y regular verbs. Regular y regular. Y van a sacar todos esos verbos que están en este texto. Los verbos que están en este texto, los que son regulares y los que son irregulares. ¿Cuál es la característica de los verbos regulares? Que terminan en D, y D, or I, E, D. And what about the irregular verbs? Irregular verbs? Oh, they change, right? Yeah, they change. Mm -hmm. For example, eat, ate, right, wrote. Okay, me, trabajemos en eso, en las dos columnitas, en una los regulares y en el otro los irregulares, please. Wow, it's very hot in here today. Vale, ahora podemos ver ahí en el chat, me ponen todos los que son regulars. Veamos primero los regulars. So es irregular. Vamos a empezar con los regulars. Very good, worried. Set is irregular. What about mentioned? Trusted. Surprise, aquí es un adjetivo. Fast. Gained. That's very good, Mauricio. Okay, those ones are the regular. What about the irregular? Now let's go with the irregular verbs. Vamos a ver los irregulares son los que cambian. Por ejemplo, have cambia a had. Así, so. Set es igual a set. Mm -hmm, very good. Do the no new. Mm -hmm. Feel. What is the, the past feel? 
Bert, excellent. Mm -hmm. Get, got, excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Ok, chicos, ahorita les voy a poner a hacer otra actividad. Another activity. Please write two questions for a partner. Van a escribir dos preguntas que le van a hacer a su compañero sobre la, en el pasado, sobre lo que hicieron hoy. Vamos a hablar en, en vamos, let's practice speaking using the simple past. ¿Verdad? Traten de decir lo que hicieron en el día pero en inglés, así como Marco me lo estaba diciendo, pero tienen que usar los past tense. Uh -huh. Vaya. ¿Ready? Go. Ahí vamos. Please get into the groups. Entren a los grupos. Qué barbaridad. Sí, sí, Qué barbaridad. Tenía, tenía la ropa afuera. Ah, it's okay, it's okay. Ah. Vale, sí, pues. lo, lo, lo que acaba de decir con Sí, sí. Van a hablar de su día, pero en pasado, ¿verdad? Traten de hablar todo lo que puedan usando el simple pass. Hablen de lo que hicieron ahora, desde la hora que se levantaron hasta la hora que llegaron a la casa y se conectaron para la clase. Bye. Que se fue cari ah. Y que estaba cariñando. Ya, ya se fue. <risa> la asustaron, yo scare her. Le estuvo miedo, nada, ya se quieren. ¿Qué did you do in the morning? What? <risa> Who did you, you do in the morning? No, no entiendo muy la pregunta. ¿sí? Who did you do in the morning? ¿Qué hiciste en la mañana? What did you do today in the morning? ¿Qué hiciste en la mañana? 
Me va a pasar la invasión hasta que tenga mi lugar. Era muy pronto. No sé si salía, pasa mi perro. Ay, ay, ay. Yo no me aseguraré. Salía a las seis de noche. Hola. Salía a las seis de noche. Salía a las seis de noche. Salí a pasar a mi perro. Oh, I went. I went out for a walk with my dogs. Okay. I went out. Ah, yes, I went out. For a walk. My dogs. Está bien así, I, I went out to. Es que casi oye, I went. Se lo puse en el chat. I went out for a walk with my dog. I went out for a walk. Pets. Es como más correcto. Se puede usar perro directo. Or pets, or dogs. Okay. Pregúntale a Karina Walter. <laughs> Friends today. Me dijo que no, ¿verdad? No, I Sí, sí. <laughs> ah, me dijo que sí. Yes. Sí, sí. Boxing. Practice. Yes. To kickboxing practice. Kickboxing practice. Uh -huh. right. Ok. No tienen que anotar, solo es hablar. Hablar. Speaking, speaking. Ah, solo. Ok, teacher. What did you do today? What did you do today? Ok. What time did you wake up? What time did you wake up? What What do you eat for dinner? Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I eat. Hello? Hi, guys. Are you practicing or do you have problems with the internet? Uh -huh. Can you hear me? Matias, did you practice? <laughs> Very good, thank you for Thank you for sharing with your classmate about your day. Now, let's talk about business cards. Do you have a business card? Una carta de, de, de presentación de, de, de profesional? Do you have a business card? Yes. Okay. What info should be present in a business card? Vamos a ver. My name, email, my job title, number of telephone. Okay, so um, the info that should be present could be the 
Okay, four of you, yes or no? No. No. QR codes? No. Job no. title? Yes. Yes. Social media links? Mm, yes. Yes. Uh, mail address? Yes. Yes. Your name? Yes. yes. Company logo? Yes. Yes. Tagline? No. No. Okay. Company logo. Imagine. Imagine. Teacher, imagination. 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 Okay. Eso es lo que now la tarjeta de presentación. You have to design your business card, okay? Vamos a hacerlo. Okay. You're gonna design. Be sure to include the information you check in the previous exercise. Ahora todos vamos a hacer nuestro business card, okay? Voy a ver si puedo hacer el mío. Todos lo vamos a hacer al mismo tiempo. Let me give you some minutes. Sorry, se me fue. Your, your cell phone number also? Yes. Your phone number at your office? Guys, I already finished. What about you? I finished my business car. What about you? Finish. Do you like mine? Okay, now I'm going to assign you into groups and you have to imagine you are in a in a networking coffee break and you want to and you have to exchange your business cards. You have to start a conversation and you are going to exchange your business card with the person you are talking with. Okay. And that is going to be the last activity before the wrap up.
Hello, Alfredo. Hello, Fátima. Okay. Hello, teacher. Hello. Could you Hello, practice? Goodbye. Goodbye. Yes, teacher. Okay, that's great. Let's go to the main group, okay? Okay, guys, we only have 10 minutes to finish the last activity. It's going to be the wrap up. Estos son algunos resultados de la web. The wrap up, I'm sorry. Okay, let me know when you can see my screen, my presentation. Can you? Yes. yes. Okay, very good. Yeah. Okay, for the wrap up, you have to correct the mistakes that you found, that you uh -huh, that you find in these questions and sentences. Okay, for example, Mary or Mary didn't came to class. What's the mistake? Didn't come to class. Oh. The verb is in past. Excellent, Mary. Didn't come Didn't. to class. Uh -huh. Esa es la forma, the correct form. ¿Por qué? Why? Cuando usamos el auxiliar en pasado, didn't, en negativo o en afirmativo, the verb has to be in the base form. You don't have to put the verb in the past tense. Okay? What about the question number two? Did you eat an apple today? Did you eat? And did you ah, eat the same? It's, did you eat an apple today? Okay. What about apple? What about the next one? Did your boss works a lot? What's the mistake? A lot. Did you work? Did your boss work? Did yours? Did a lot. Yours. Work without the S, right? Sin la S. Oh, yes. Sin la S. Did your boss work a lot? Okay, the next one. My partners travel by bus to work. In the press, my partner travel. Ah, in the present is correct, but we are using the past. So it must be in the past. My partners. Travel. Traveled by bus to work. Okay, the next one. We write it a letter to the manager. We wrote. Uh, yes, because write is an irregular verb. The past of write is wrote. So the correct form is wrote. We wrote a letter to the manager. Okay. Next one. The secretary didn't answer the phone. The, the secretary, secretary didn't, didn't answer. answer. We, the verb has to be in the base. And the last one. Where did you went yesterday? Where did you, Where did you go yesterday? Go. Yes, sir. 
Wow, guys, you're so intelligent. Where did I? Sorry. Where did you go yesterday? Excellent. Congratulations. You got them all right. So remember, the structure for affirmative sentences in the past is subject, the verb in the past, and complement. Negative form, easy. Subject, auxiliary did not or didn't, verb in base form, and complement. Just no questions in the simple past. Auxiliary D, subject, verb in the base form, and oh. complement. Okay, the next, the next slide, I have a question. Do you know? Do you know what's the past of can? For example, if I have the sentence, I can't speak, no, sorry, I can't play so. Yo puedo jugar fútbol, I can't play soccer. ¿Cómo hago esa oración en pasado? What's I the couldn't play soccer. Sorry? I couldn't play soccer. Ah, the pass of can is could. So I could not or I couldn't in a contracted form play soccer. Ese sería, no pude jugar fútbol. I couldn't play soccer. So the pass of can is could. Couldn't. Mm -hmm. And what's the past of B? For example, si yo digo, Password. sister is happy. In the past, my sister, sister was, was happy. Okay, is it Pongo? My students are very punctual. In the past, si lo hago en pasado, were very, very exactly. My students were the past of R is where my students were very punctual. Eso es lo que yo voy a decir cuando termine con ustedes. When I finish this with this group. <laughs> Now you start another group. Okay. Very good. Now, guys, I need to take the attendance for the last time. Okay. So don't forget to say present or here. Okay. Okay, let's see. Alba Dinora Vides. Yes. Alfredo Alexander Rodas. Present. Carla Maritza Sánchez. Present. <laughs> Carlos Walberto Rodríguez. Present. Cristina Rosana Romero. Present. Domingo Alexander González. Present. Fátima Portillo. Fátima Portillo. <laughs> Domingo, ah, no, sorry. José Matías Lemos. Present. Present teacher. Karina Yamilet Espinosa. Marco David Velázquez. Present teacher. Marlon Alberto Cardona. Ya se fue. 
O tuvo problemas. Tenía problemas con el internet, dijo. Uh -huh. Pero sí estuvo, ¿verdad? Eh, Marlon, ok. Mauricio Alexandre Majano. Present. Magdalena Judith Díaz. Present. Nancy Lice Rodríguez Escoto. She was absent today. Rocío Martínez. Present teacher. Salvador Escobar. Present teacher. Sandra Velázquez. Present. Víctor Salazar. Present. Walter Daniel. Present. William Eduardo. Ya se fue William también. Maybe problems with the internet. Okay. Um, thank you guys for staying. I mean, for being in this class. It was a pleasure. Y vamos a ver. Ahora le toca la sesión. Ayer la hicimos con Karina, ¿verdad? Entonces, hoy le toca a Marco David Velázquez Vázquez. ¿Se puede quedar, Marco? Yeah, have a beautiful night. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Bye, people. Please rest and see you tomorrow. Have a beautiful Bye. night. Bye. Sweet dream. Sweet dreams Sweet dream. for everybody. Okay, thank you. Bye. They need to sleep. We need to sleep. Yeah, we. I need to sleep. But, but, but they are fierce because <laughs> you don't finish when say bye. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> okay, my dear friend Marco. Okay. How can I help you? Um, I feel that como que me está costando un poquitito más esta, esta clase. Más que todo, este, para les, las explicaciones. O sea, yo no digo que va a ser Spanglish. Está bien que... que que todo sea en inglés, pero este sí a veces me quedo en algunas y me toca hacer trampa, buscar en traductor algunas palabras y las estoy haciendo uh, en el momento, ¿verdad? pero eso siento yo que me, me atrasa porque a veces algunas explicaciones no, algunas orientaciones no, no, no las entiendo. Ok. Y sí necesito. ¿Por qué están en porque las digo en inglés? No, porque las dice muy rápido. I'm sorry. Ya, yeah, pero ya le voy, le voy como agarrando el ritmo, en el sentido que eso me ayuda a esforzarme más para poder entenderle más. Pero sí hay, hay palabras que, que me cuestan aún, ¿verdad? Sí, es natural, ¿verdad? Porque es un nivel principiante. Exacto. Uh -huh. Así es que es normal que no entiendan al 100% todo lo que diga en inglés. Ah, pero, ¿cuál es su punto de vista? Y siempre en mis tiempos de que me tocaba quedarme, siempre he preguntado eso, porque me interesa mucho saber que perciben de mí, porque eso me ayuda a esforzarme más. ¿Cómo me ve en, con respecto a, a mi inglés? Mi inglés. <risa> bueno, Marco, yo puedo decir que en cuanto a su desempeño del idioma, bastante bien. Yo veo que comprende bastante y me gusta mucho su participación y que también ahí está, ¿verdad? Eh, son de los, de los 
que sobresale más en participar, en escribir en el chat, cuando se le pide ver los ejercicios o de dar las respuestas. Así que, that's excellent. The more you participate, the better for you. Right. right? Uh -huh. right. Um, and also, I can see that you have a lot of potential for the language. Your accent, your pronunciation is pretty good. Pretty right. good. Mm -hmm. yeah. So keep on, keep on working hard, okay? You're gonna get it. Okay, yes, because I need to learn because I don't know, maybe six months or I don't know more. I think in to travel to USA and that helped me to open doors in everywhere. Yes, that's true. Yeah, are you going to move with your family? No. No, only, only I. Okay. Um, Marco, and what do you think about my class? Do you have any suggestions or recommendations for me? Uh, besides giving the instructions more clearly, more clearly <laughs> and more slowly so that okay. everybody understand. <laughs> mm, uh, maybe explain, uh, maybe, maybe explain something, some word, algunas palabras. Uh, ahí le voy a estar, um, ahí write you or ask you uh, what what meaning o sea, o qué significa because that uh, help us as not only only me only my person uh, to stand more and i share share uh, material of verb in past and other verb to help uh, para nutrir nutrir nuestros nuestro lenguaje tal vez tal tal vez más más ejemplos more example for uh, que vengan de usted más ejemplos more examples uh -huh. more example the the last teacher uh -huh. uh, he put uh, various, como se dice? Many. Various, many, many examples and uh, not uh, stay on the, in the menu. Uh, se apoyaba con otros materiales y help us. Uh -huh. Okay, not only the book. Como? Not only the handbook. Ah, yeah, not only the handbook. Yeah, see, uh, that uh, help us uh, more because she sending somebody link uh -huh. when we hear pronunciation, uh -huh. verbs, uh, another word that help us. Okay. Thank you, Marco. I will try to include that in my in my classes too, because that is true. Yeah, sometimes I think, oh, tomorrow I'm going to send some exercises so the students can make it. Yeah. But I sometimes think, wow, the students are already busy in the other work. And maybe I'm not gonna do it, but I have to be more positive and more optimistic. <laughs> Uh -huh. So that, yeah, I know maybe not the 100% of the students are going to do the exercises, but at least the 50% is something. <laughs> oh. Yes, and I know that in the class there are many students who really want to learn, like you. Okay, I can see there are some people that really want to learn. And I see others that 
maybe they had problems in, and that's why maybe they they can be in the class very active participating but i'm glad that you marco you do it even your children are in the class <laughs> yeah. she liked the class he has me every day how do you say that and and i and speak with they and she liked this he liked they like this. Mm, that's great. And you are becoming their teacher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, they have become their teacher. <laughs> yeah. Okay, nice. Um okay, so any other recommendation or suggestion or that was it? No, no, it's okay. It's okay. It's only that. Um I, I think that the your language, this language, English Corporativo, uh, they do a good job and we need that. Thanks for everything. Oh, you're welcome. I try to do my best. <laughs> yeah, at this, at this hour of the day is very, you know, difficult because we are tired. We want to rest. Yeah. I can understand you because I, I, I'm working also full time in another place that is very demanding. And then I have to come here home, have dinner quickly, and then be ready for the class. So I can understand you because you also work during the day and you are tired. So I try, I try to be dynamic, <laughs> to make you laugh or something so you don't fall asleep. But yeah, there are some, there's always something to improve, right? To do it better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And each group of students is different. Okay. Yeah. So we have, yeah. To, we have to be flexible and adapt to the students' needs. Yeah, uh, some partners, Write me and uh, pedir ayuda. Uh, for help, they asked. For help to English and I help them. <laughs> uh, that that uh, like me because me busca. <laughs> yeah, you like that. And why do you think they look for you? ¿Cómo? Why do you think they look for you? ¿Mi qué? ¿Por qué o sea, cree? Yo, Why do you think porque yo they pienso look for you? Que ellos me ven a mí. ¿Por qué cree, porque cree que ellos lo buscan a usted? I don't know. <laughs> But nah, I love help them. It's because, because you are good. You're a good student. Ah, oh, right. Uh -huh. <laughs> so thank you thank you for helping your classmates okay uh, all right <laughs> all right all right marco <laughs> have a good okay. night i hope okay. to see you tomorrow please rest tomorrow. and yeah. say good night bye, bye. to your children good please. night